hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in i'm intentional favor and on this channel i share my life experiences on issues pertaining to faith lifestyle studying abroad social work i also do a little bit of vlogging so please if you like to join this family click the red subscribe button below also hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload a new video and to you my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for coming back so guys welcome to another episode of um, social work series and as you've seen the title already in today's video we'll be talking about social work placement yeah so this video is going to come in like two or three episodes yes people are complaining that my videos are so long apologies if you feel so but at the same time i've gotten comments from people why they love my channel is how i explain things and take my time to make it clear to all so i'm at a dilemma i don't really know what should i do do. some people are happy with the way i release my content others are not so what should i do anyways let me know your thoughts in the comment section and by the way i know i jokingly said something to one youtuber here um immigrate with army um this wasn't planned but you know shout out to you hello immigrate with army shout out to you yeah her videos are so short and on point so i want to recommend her and so many people for whatever reason don't like the united kingdom so if you are looking for another alternative another country that you might want to consider consider studying abroad immigrate with army on her channel she's currently in portugal so she does just the same thing i do but when it comes to applying to portugal you might want to give that a try you know probably have portugal as your plan b in case you already have plans of coming to the united kingdom i'll leave the link to her channel in the description box please go ahead support her subscribe to her channel she's doing a good job her videos are short yes you get the opposite of what you get here all right yeah after that i'll come for tutorials on how to sh um, film short videos you see this thing alone will take so many of the time that's by the way guys so yeah today i'll be talking about social work placement in this particular video i'm going to be talking about everything you need to know about social work placement yeah so just giving you some facts or some details about social work placement in a subsequent video i'll be giving you tips or advice from my own experience and of course experiences of some of my friends and colleagues alike so that you will learn and not make some mistakes during your placement so the first thing i would like to say about social work placement in the united kingdom is that it is compulsory yeah so it is a compulsory component or aspect of your study as a social work student you can't avoid it it's not possible so it's compulsory and if you're coming in for your master's in your first year you are going to have 70 days placement which is mostly in the pvi sector maybe think of pvi think of non-governmental organizations okay so it's mostly in the pvi sector then the second placement is 100 days which you will have in your second year which is usually a statutory placement all right that takes place in your second year if you're coming in for undergraduate studies your first year is more like free start you don't have much really to do but your second year you'll be going for your own first placement which is 70 days and then in your in your um third and final year you'll be going for the 100 days placement so in all you have a total of 170 days placement as a social work student that's one fact about social work placement in the uk second fact i want to share with you about social work placement is that it is not paid i think i've gotten these questions time and time again people asking me is it paid no my dears unfortunately sadly it's not okay it's not paid that's why for the home students they get bursary all right they pay them yes because they are social work students and all of that but as international students of course let me also tell you in case you don't know you are not entitled to that nhs board uh, bursary it's only for citizens and home students yeah they are the only people that are in title to having that so it's not paid for so um social work placement another thing about it is like it's more like a regular nine to five all right but it depends on your um on your uh, placement agency so it depends on how they work for instance your first placement if it's in the pvi sector like i said think of non-governmental organizations as the pvi sector so when you are there it depends on their opening times for instance when i did my first placement it was in an um arts um 
like art center so they use art to help people improve their mental health so people that have mental health mental health issues mental health diagnosis with art drawing painting and so many things the uh, pottery and door is actually a very good idea and i love that placement so much they help people to improve their mental health so when i went there you have of course a pre-placement agreement meeting yeah that's one of the things that you should know so when you have that meeting with the providers of your placement they will, they will of course you will have to agree where your start time is and where your finishing time is so it depends it can be flexible especially for your first placement but your second placement or i know i know some people they have two statutory placements so there are two placements are statutory the first one for me or in most cases will be pvi sector the 70 days then the 100 days will be statutory what statutory is now like in the government you work in a local authority in a council all right so um that one most times is a regular nine to five yeah sometimes it's not negotiable to be honest but depending on when the pvi sector like when the non-governmental organization when they are opening time you know sometimes some of them they open at 10 o'clock and door i think when i did my placement mind their opening time was 9 30 so i start by 9 30 and they close by i think 4 or 4 30 there about and that is when i close all right but your university will tell you the minimum hours that you can do per day the third thing you need to know about your um, social work placement is that you will have what is called on-site supervisor oss and your practice educator pe I will explain what this means. So on-site supervisor, most times, of course, has to be somebody in that organization, okay? On-site, so that on-site, okay? That means the person is there. The person will be your supervisor, and sometimes your on-site supervisor can double as your practice educator. Now, the practice educator is a trained social worker. They actually go for that training to become practice educators. They are trained. I think in that one-year training or two years program, it is. They study it. They do all of those things before they get qualified to become practice educators. They are the main like your practice educator is the main person as far as your placement is concerned. You know one thing about social work placement? Once you are on placement, really, your university has little or no involvement, kind of. Not that they are not involved, but most times everything lies in the hands of your on-site supervisor and your practice educator. But most times it lies in the hands of your practice educator. Now, your practice educator is the person that will score you. Your practice educator is the person that will determine whether you pass or fail. Mind you, your university has no say. If your practice educator says that you failed, your university cannot do anything. Seriously. Do, they can't do anything because that, that is the person that you report to. You do supervision with him or her. You report to him or her. Your reflective loss, everything you report to that person. Now, sometimes your on-site supervisor can double as your practice educator. In some cases, you can get an on-site supervisor and a different practice educator. Sometimes where you are working, if they have a trained practice educator, that person will be your on-site supervisor and your practice educator. But if for whatever reason, your university can choose to give you what is called off-site practice educator. That means the person is not working in that company it's not working in that local authority where you are doing your placement one of the tips let me go ahead of myself and tell you now you need to pray to have a good practice educator god you need to pray have a good practice educator maybe um, i'll tell you more stories about this when i start giving you tips or maybe now that i've said it let me just say it and cover it up now why i said this is that please pray you don't have to choose you can't choose you can't determine your practice educator you can't determine your on-site supervisor you have no say in that decision you can't find your placement for yourself universities it is their responsibility to find a placement for you so you see why you really need to start praying on time why I say this is that personally, of course, I, I pray, you know, I always pray and ask God for the best. And God gave me the best throughout my placement, my first placement. Oh, my God, my practice at Keto was the best. At the point, I was really afraid when I hear the experiences of my colleagues. I'll be like, this woman seems to be spoiling me too much. Hope I'll get a similar version of you in my second placement, which is the ultimate one. Let it not be that I just get used to having a good practice at Keto and later on, I'll just meet one. Mm okay so at the end of the day god did it i now had the best again maybe the best test this time around as my practice educator in my second placement it was like honestly the way it happens now my colleagues they've had several experiences let me share just few with you one of my colleagues in her second placement she had to stop because 
her practice educator, she was just giving her tough time. She couldn't cope. Nothing she does pleases her. Remember, you report to her. Everything she does doesn't please her and all of that. And it was beginning to affect her. She told the university they had meeting and all of that. At the end of the day, the university advised her that she should just leave. Since she's not having a good time with her practice educator and all of that. Um, my friend, he did to the advice of the union and then she stopped her placement. But then... It took another two to three months before they could find another placement for her. And sometimes it can be difficult, especially during this COVID time. And for so many reasons in the social work world, it's actually so difficult. So you see why it's important that you pray and ask God to give you a good um, practice educator. Okay, I have another friend <laughs> during her first placement. Her practice educator was not just pleased with her and everything. And now said that she has to do extra one week. Eh? So, you know, when you are just done 70 days, you are counting down because it's a loss, really, 9 to 5 and all of those. And she can't wait because she was also working, all right? She's also working at the same time and doing placement. So, she couldn't wait to finish. And somebody saying that you have to do extra one week, that they are not satisfied with your work. That was an issue. I think she just ended up doing three days extra at the end of the day. If not, she can say you didn't pass. And that is what it is. You have to repeat the placement. And then... This other friend, during her second placement, uh, when she was about to round off again, this this similar issue happened, saying that she has to do extra one week or two weeks, that she still has some things that she needs to learn and all of that. It was a practice educator. This one was her team manager saying that. The manager was saying, I don't think you are good at this. I don't think you are good at this. You need to still come one week and do. You know, they lack social workers and do. So they needed her. So it was her practice educator who stood up for her and said, I don't think she actually needs to come back and do extra one week she's a student and she's allowed to have learning needs so what would her learning needs be she's not expected to be perfect so when she goes on that's why she has the asye the assessed and supported year of experience she will have learning needs so that's when she can learn it she's not expected to be perfect she's not a professional yet and that's how my friend escaped that and she didn't have that extra one or two weeks that the manager was saying she should have you see the importance of having a good practice educator guys so that is very very important pray to god to give you a good practice educator surely you know you're a person of color and all of those stuff so it's very very important i think i will stop here for now so i'm going to um pause here when it comes to this of course like i said i don't want this video to be too long but then i'm going to film another episode telling you practical tips and advice on what you should do how best you should do when it comes to your social work placement all right so guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up all right share this video leave comments you have questions especially if you have things specifically that you still want me to address on this channel feel free to let me know in the comment section and i'll be seeing you guys in the next episode until then stay blessed remain intentional and take care of yourself bye